Okay, so in this uh, video we want to verify the trig identity cosine of x divided by the quantity 1 plus sine of x plus cosine of x divided by the quantity 1 minus sine of x is equal to 2 secant of x. And um, you usually start verifying trig identities with the more complicated side uh, and show that it equals the less complicated side. So down here at the bottom I'm just going to jot down 2 secant of x because that's where I'm going to be heading and then I'll start with this left hand side as the more complicated side and that will be my given information. So because I have two fractions being added together and I need to end up with just a single term at the end, I'm going to combine these fractions and that would require a common denominator. So I'm going to multiply this first fraction, the top and the bottom, by 1 minus sine x. And the second fraction, I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by 1 plus sine x so that I can get that common denominator. So in um, my first section, I'm going to have, my first fraction, I'm going to have cosine of x when I distribute minus the sine of x cosine of x. Then in my second side here, I'll have plus, and then I'll distribute, and that'll be a cosine of x plus sine of x cosine of x. And that's all over now my common denominator, 1 plus sine of x, 1 minus sine of x. And in that step, we found um, an LCD, a least common denominator, and we added the two fractions. So now in step number three, let's uh, do some simplifying. So here we've got a cosine of x plus another cosine of x, that's two cosine x when we combine like terms, and then negative sine x cosine x and a positive sine x cosine x, those uh, kill each other out to equal zero. And our denominator is a difference of two perfect squares. So when I um, multiply those two binomials together, I'm going to have 1 minus sine squared x for that difference of squares. And my um, reason for step number three was simplify completely. Okay, now in our step number four, um, this one minus sine squared x, that's a uh, Pythagorean identity. So if you recall um, the Pythagorean identity, sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals one. If I solve that for cosine squared x, I would subtract sine squared x from both sides, and cosine squared x then by itself would be equal to 1 minus sine squared x, which is what we've got in our denominator. So I'm going to use that Pythagorean identity then in order to substitute out this uh, 1 minus sine squared x. So the numerator will stay the same, 2 cosine of x, but now in my denominator using that uh, Pythagorean identity, I can change it to cosine squared x instead, and that was applying a Pythagorean identity. Okay, so far so good, and now we're ready to simplify. So we have two cosine of x in the numerator, a cosine squared x in the denominator. If I simplify, um, I can cancel a cosine x from the top and the bottom, that gets rid of that square, and I'm left with 2 over cosine x, and that is using uh, simplify as the reason. And uh, if you recall, cosine, um, its reciprocal is secant, so uh, I can change 1 over cosine because now this would be using a reciprocal identity. Um, 1 over secant is equal to cosine, 
and 1 over cosine is equal to secant, right? Those are the reciprocal identities for secant and cosine. So using this uh, reciprocal identity, I can conclude that this is equivalent to 2 secant of x, and that's applying the reciprocal identity that we just discussed. And now we have shown that uh, what we started with, cosine of x over 1 plus sine of x um, plus cosine of x um, over the quantity 1 minus sine of x, that that now is in fact equal to what we were looking for, which was the two secants, and this uh, trick identity has been verified.